This is a Lexus ES300. This vehicle will crank by one star. It's blowing the EFI fuse. As soon as I turn on the ignition switch, it blows. A couple of fuses already, and the owner of the vehicle also uh, has blown a few fuses trying to trying to uh, turn it on. I'm gonna be showing that in a few seconds uh, where the fuse is, and uh, the suspected components in this case will be like fuel pump, uh, fuel injectors, also the ignition coils, or problems on the wires. I'm gonna be checking the ignition switch first. That's the uh, first thing I'm gonna be doing. So with that in mind, uh, let's get started. And this is the fuse that is blowing. EFI fuse, electronic fuel injection, right there. And uh, these are the fuses that are blown here. They try to use the different, different amps, amperage of fuse, which is not good. So all the fuses are blown. I'm gonna be testing it right now and see how, how it goes. Now that is the position of the ignition lock cylinder, lock, accessories, on and start. These are the order of the pins here and the ignition switch. As you can see here, exactly like this. Number one, two, three, four, five with the empty space here. Five, six, seven, eight. That's how it goes. So I'm gonna be testing it right now. Right there, and it's supposed to be in accessory mode. And between uh, two and three, we're gonna check an order. In two and three and I'm gonna put it in uh, an accessory mode and that has canuted it right there as you can see so let's go to the next one all right I'm gonna put it in the on position and I'm gonna be checking canuted between the pins Two, three, four, six, and seven. And I'm supposed to have canoodity if everything is fine. Let's see, I'm position. And also has canoodity. So that is good too. Uh, between uh, pin uh, two and three. That has canoodity. I'm gonna put it in the pin number four. All right, that's in uh, pin two and four, and no canoodity. I've I already found the first um, fault on this ignition switch. That's on the on position, remember? Because uh, it is in the on position, just to make sure. Yes, it is in the on position. So this is uh, this ignition switch is faulty. I hope this is the problem. I'm not sure yet, but it has no canoodity uh, between the rest of the pins. But however, we're gonna test the start position and see what happens. Now that's on that position is pin number one. Rem remember this is pin number one, the one at the corner there. And now because uh, they are too close, the two uh, legators here don't fit. So I'm gonna use uh, one of these here. That's a uh, pin number one and number two. I'm gonna put it in pin number number two here to check an order. It has to be on the start position. I'm gonna put this here in pin number one. Put it in the start position, see what happens. And that is good. As you saw, the, that is good, that part is good. So let's go to the next, which is a pin number four. Now I'm gonna put it on pin number four here. And I'm gonna go to start position here, to the start position, to the crank position. And that is good. So yeah, I have canoodity here. So this step is good. And I'm gonna go to pin six. Even though this uh, ignition switch is faulty already, but let's see. Or maybe another short that could be in the vehicle, I don't know at this point, might have uh, killed this switch. But at this, uh, but at this point, it has to be replaced because it's defective. 
this is the original from Toyota. All right, and I bought a new ignition switch. This is the part number here. And if you're gonna continue testing here, it's very easy. All you gotta do is uh, put it in the position that it's asking you to put it here. And the pins are here, so it's very easy. So you can keep going, uh, testing it, but I will stop here. All right, this is the rear of the engine here where the fuel pump is. I lift up, I took out the, the back seat here, very easy. All you gotta do is lift it up and it comes off from here and from there, on the other side. Now, because I wanted to uh, do some tests on the fuel pump and uh, I just want to say really quick, this uh, white, uh, white black here, it has tape here and someone put tape on the past here, but I check a little from here to here and it's good. So this uh, white and black, this is uh, this is ground and the blue one here the blue one with the black stripe uh, that, that's uh, that's power so this is ground and this is power the two uh, file wires here so it's uh this is uh those are pin four and five four and five here so what i did was off camera i applied power here and ground and these two and the fuel pump uh, works so at least the fuel pump is alive it doesn't mean it's good, I don't know. Anything could be causing the problem right now. I wanted to see if uh, power and ground is uh, flowing through here to these two pins. So I decided to put another fuse where it's blowing, the electronic fuel injection uh, fuse. And I turned down the ignition switch, it did not blow it. It only blows the fuse as soon as uh, you try to crank the engine. But only the ignition switch on normally doesn't do it. It doesn't blow it and it keeps blowing the the fuse at this point still blowing the fuse even though i replaced the ignition switch the ignition switch was bad so that tells me that another problem is so at this point i took out the ignition switch again because i'm afraid to damage it so i'm gonna leave this alone and i'm gonna go to work on the engine so here is the thing uh this is the battery here and this is the wire that comes here to the uh, fuse that is blowing the efi fuse electronic fuel injection fuse I mean this fuse controls a lot of stuff then it goes here to this relay efi relay again and comes here to the circle circle opening relay and then comes down here to the fuel pump and pin number four and then this is on the other side is pin number five which is the white black wire that i showed before and this is the blue black wire uh, this is power and this is ground of course this is where you can apply 12 volts to the fuel pump and there are other wires too to check like this one here that comes to the starter and this one goes from here comes from here and it goes to the neutral safety switch here i already disconnected all of these components starter neutral safety switch fuel pump and any component that is a suspected component you can disconnect it when you have this kind of problem and uh, every time you disconnect one component, try to crank the engine. Every time I did that, the fuse uh, has kept blowing. So all the components should be okay. So the problem at this point should be on the wires. All right, I took out the fuse box here, and uh, this is the fuse that is blowing. I took it out for now. This is the wire here for the for the fuse. This goes to the battery here, and uh, so I'm gonna try to uh, trace it to see uh, if I find something. Now that wire becomes a lot of wires. That's the thing. It becomes all the wires. It's not only one. That is the thing. So something uh, could happen here. All right now just to show you where i'm working that's the intake manifold right there see this uh wire harness here wires are damaged here you can even see the color of the wire there are a couple of wires that are uh, uh, stuck together they got stuck together like four wires here i'm gonna i'm gonna destroy this thing here the boots because i have no choice because uh, this one is damaged and it's uh getting in here see all this wire here uh this group of wires here uh, let's see there is a small group of wires this one are stuck together all of them this ones the 
a red one, a yellow block, and whatever. They are stuck uh, together. They have melted. And they come here, so I have to, so I have to trace them. I will have to destroy all of this thing here. And I hope it doesn't go on the firewall right there, because then it's gonna become a little bit uh, more difficult. But I think definitely this is the problem here because all that, uh, all of these wires, there is one of them or two that have lost the, the insulation. Maybe they have overheated. Now this wire here, this one is a yellow black. I think I'm not sure, but has lost the insulation completely. It's completely uh, peeled off. This is the bare wire here, no insulation at all. And these other three, there are another three here that are stuck together, including with this one here, including this one. They are melted. Now the problem is that this, wa this wire, this one here, is going that way. And these other, these other uh, wires that are stuck together are uh, coming this way here. So it's not gonna be uh, easy. And this one goes here. So luckily, this uh, vehicle did not set on fire. It's dangerous. Now, I had to ruin the entire insulation here because I had to follow the wires. Now, these are, this is the group that is stuck together, like, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wires are melted together here. But from here, as you can see, maybe the camera can see, they are not melted anymore. See, they are detached. Completely seven wires, but from here they start getting together and they go together here. I already kind of detached them here, so I'm gonna take them apart right now. Right there, one. They are really stuck. Yeah. Uh, now I detach this one, another one here. Let's go to these two here. Ah, uh, man. Now this one is peeled here. This one has no insulation here. And here is also peeled. Hope the camera can get that. See the red one here? It's got stuck with this one here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take them apart. Ah, the red one here with the yellow, uh, yellow black, completely stuck together. Ay, ay, ay. And as they go down, they are they all together, they all stuck. The insulation of this one has come off. Now if I come down here, they got stuck uh, here again. Because the first, I went from here, all the way to here. They are stuck here in the bottom, beneath. Ay, 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 this is the piece of insulation of this wire here. But the insulation is got stuck here on the other wire. The driver was lucky this uh, vehicle did not set on fire. Some of these wires are for the injectors. And as I said at the beginning, the, also the injectors were suspect, suspected components. Now, I got to separate after a little while I've been fighting here. And uh, so I separated all of them. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna connect the ignition switch and put it without the screws just by hand and install the, the fuse, the fuse the, that is being blown, blowing and see if uh, I crank the engine and see what happens, see if it happens the same, see if it blows the fuse again, I don't know. I'm gonna put this fuse here, I already connected the ignition switch and see what happens. Hopefully it works, I'm gonna cross my fingers. Voy a cruzar los dedos, que trabaje. Huh? 
Ajá. Ahí estamos. Ahí encendió. Y turned on. Engine is up and running. Ay, ay, ay. Beautiful. I'm sure that is the problem right there. All those wires. So now I'm going to fix them. I'm pretty sure that's the problem, but I'm gonna turn on. I'm gonna try to turn on the vehicle and turn it off a few times. But uh, the fuse was blowing as soon as the engine uh, will uh, will be cranked. So I'm pretty sure that is the problem right there. There we goes. Ahí está. It's not blowing anymore. All wires are separated there. So I'm only gonna fix those wires there and uh, put everything back and that should be it. Thanks for watching the video and God bless you all.